10 mysterious things found on the beach. Costa Rica's Stone Fears Since the 1930s, people have been finding stone spheres all around southern Costa Rica. These balls were first found when farmers cleared the jungle for banana plantations, but came across these round stone spheres which varied in size from a few inches to over 6 feet in diameter, with some weighing as much as 15 tons. Most of them were moved by the farmers, and some were even blown up. Not much is known about who made these spheres, other than that they lived in small settlements and circular houses. While most of them were found in the jungles and fields, there were quite a few found lining the ocean shore. Despite being called spheres, they are actually not perfectly round. Due to them being moved, blown up, and eroded, their original purpose has yet to be discovered. Hey everyone, this is Mike from Down the Rabbit Hole, dedicated to finding our viewers the most mysterious and educational content available. More on us later, but for now, back to some weird findings. Porcupine Fish Swim Bladder These odd leathery objects are occasionally found on beaches, mainly in Queensland, but what are they? Well, they are the special internal organs of a porcupine fish. These strange, pig-hoof-looking things were once swim bladders, which inflate and deflate to help control balance and buoyancy of the fish as it moves throughout the water. Many fish have swim bladders, but most of them are normally soft and delicate and decay quickly. Those found in the porcupine fish are tough and can survive for quite a while after the fish has died. When they're alive, these porcupine fish are just as tough, inflating their bodies and wedging themselves into a reef so that predators can't get to them. These prickly fish can be found throughout the Indo-West Pacific area, with almost a dozen species living in Queensland. Numb fish versus porcupine fish. These are actually two different fish that both met an unfortunate and uncomfortable end. The conjoined pair was found on November 5, 2005, and it would appear that the numb fish tried to eat the porcupine fish. There have also been reports of wobgongs meeting the same fate as this numb fish at the hands of the porcupine fish. Roughly a week after this duo was discovered, a porcupine fish swim bladder was found on the beach. Apparently, it has more survivability than the two fish put together. The Deck of Skewner William H. Sumner The shipping world has many stories about shipwrecks and boats that ran aground but not many leave bits behind for future generations. One summery Sunday in 1919, a three-masted schooner called William H. Sumner made her way back north towards her home port in New York. She was carrying 850 tons of phosphate, 30 tons of ironwood, and 56 mahogany logs. But she would never arrive. There are many myths and legends surrounding the grounding, mutiny, and sinking of the ship off the north coast of Carolina, most of which can't be verified. But one thing is known, a piece of her deck, measuring around 26 feet by 11 feet, lies mostly buried on the beach after it was washed ashore. The deck reveals itself every now and then in Surf City due to the strong northeaster winds which move the sand. It only appears for a day or two at a time before sinking down the sandy surface once again, but those who would like to see the amazing piece of history can count on it appearing again in the future. Yorkshire Fossils this strange-looking fossilized object was found in May 2014 on the Yorkshire coast, the second most popular spot in the United Kingdom for fossil hunting. There are many reptile remains found fossilized in this area, and it is also well known for its Jurassic plant remains, which are normally in brilliant condition. They even have an annual fossil hunting festival. This rock appears to have some sort of fossilized remains sticking out of it, but what exactly it is will have to remain a mystery. Huntington Beach Sea Blobs on November of 2016, thousands of small, pink, jelly-like creatures washed up onto the shores of Huntington Beach in Southern California, but no one knew what they were, or had seen anything like them before. One beachgoer described how he was walking along the shore when he started to feel a little water balloon-like objects popping underneath his feet, and that they were very soft and squishy. When he looked down, he saw the strange little translucent gelatinous blobs. He thought that they may be jellyfish or eggs, but there were thousands of them all the way along the beach. But the hypothesis came soon enough from many scientists, one of them being Christopher G. Lowe, a Cal State Long Beach marine biology professor. Christopher Lowe believes that they are sea cucumbers, and that although these marine animals appear very similar to jellyfish, they aren't very closely related. A local lifeguard believes that their odd arrival might have something to do with El Nino. Our guess, based on how weird these creatures look, is that they're some kind of alien or baby jelly monsters. World War II Mortar on the Beach in 1941, hundreds of soldiers descended upon an isolated part at the Peak District, 
Troops fired bullets and mortars at the abandoned farm buildings, tanks rumbled along dirt tracks, and chemical weapons were fired. What they left over 75 years ago still has the potential to really hurt someone today. Tom Jackson, a Coast Guard, found this mortar on the sand at the beach of Kamas on Ley. It's very sobering to realize that remnants of the war are still so evident even seven decades later. Because of the time passed, most of these objects have eroded, so it's difficult to see exactly what they are and whether they are safe. These shells and mortars can make room-sized craters, so you definitely don't want to be near one of them if it gets activated. Vertebrae is from Tropical Storm Debbie. After Tropical Storm Debbie hit the Florida coastline in June of 2012, most of the shoreline was littered in small shells, which lined the beach area around the Sanibel Lighthouse. There were also bags of true tulips, lightning whelks, angel wing pairs, and alphabet cones. One lucky collector had her eye on some beach bling and found a vertebrae from some type of ocean animal, probably a dolphin or a small whale. Although it's not uncommon for marine animals' bones to wash up, it is quite rare for this type of bone to come ashore. Indeed, a lucky find, and something to be shell abraded. Sea Monsters Dreadlocks A rather odd object washed up on a beach in New Zealand and sparked a large social media debate about what it was. The big ocean object was covered in barnacles and was discovered on Murray Rye Beach in Auckland by Melissa Doubleday, a local resident. She took this photo, which she posted on the Waimaku area community group where she asked if anyone knew what this strange ocean thing was. Ms. Doubleday said that she had spotted the mysterious barnacled object from down the beach miles away and wondered what it could be. She said it looked like worms with shells, and she had never seen anything like it before, thinking that it was a beached whale. The post to social media sparked a debate, with many users speculating it could be anything from a part of an old shipwreck to a piece of art. Some more creative commentators offered more imaginative suggestions, such as an alien pod time capsule, driftwood covered in goose barnacles, and a sea monster's dreadlocks. I personally like that last one, but let us know in the comments section down below what you think it could be. Sea Potato Urchins Beachgoers who were searching for sea urchins were left completely baffled by clusters of strange-looking alien objects that washed up on the beach in Cornwall. Hundreds of these odd spheres were spotted by families enjoying the day at the beach, and many wondered what these mysterious ocean objects could be. True to form, users on social media offered interesting theories, including dried-up baseballs that had fallen from a cargo ship. But marine scientists say that they are simply a type of sea urchin which is known as a sea potato and we can see why. The dead sea potato urchins have also washed up on beaches in North Devon, as well as at the Long Rock between Mazzaroni and Penzance. Ocean experts believe that they were brought in by bad weather and strong currents. All these are just the tip of the iceberg. Wait till you see what kinds of weird, crazy looking creatures have been found on beaches. In our video, 14 mysterious creatures discovered washed ashore. See you all there.